Welcome to Radio Friends on this Tuesday, January the 13th. Ed Hansen is with us from Talking Horse Productions. How'd you come up with that Talking Horse Productions title? Well, uh, it's very interesting. Uh, January 6th, I think, was actually the 50th anniversary of the dawning of the Mr. Ed show. Okay, I was going to say, <laughs> does it have anything to do with Mr. Ed? <laughs> so it's a, it's an anniversary. I, maybe, well, I think it's 50 years. Maybe it's 60. I don't know. Oh, but, I, uh, I think probably 50. I remember that show. Oh, I used to think it was the most stupid show on television, but I watched well, it. Well, this will tell you how I was as a child. I was enthralled with it. Yeah. So. <laughs> the, the, the Talking Hearts. Mr. Ed, the Talking Hearts. That's where it comes from. Okay, so that's Talking Hearts production. But uh, you're here today because... This is a big weekend for you, a Saturday it night, is. right? It is. Talking Hearts production. You're doing a one-man show? A one-man Sinatra event called the Sinatra Supper Club. Yeah. And we've got the theater set up as a New York Supper Club. And, and you are you were doing all the Frank Sinatra? I am singing, I counted them, 40 songs in one evening. Nonstop. Now, what happens if you... Well, there's a little stop. <laughs> I'll occasionally get a drink of water. <laughs> so you're having a, a Sinatra Supper Club. You're right. doing 40 Sinatra songs. Right. And um, people, you're walking around from table to table? Well, I stay on the stage, but we've got a Supper Club in New York. Uh, used to be set up with uh, tables sort of surrounding the stage, uh -huh. and the stage jutted out into the into the audience area. So we're trying to recreate that with our stage, which is portable, mm -hmm. of, of uh, setting it up in such a way so that the tables have a, a, a front row view no matter which table you're sitting at. Yeah. And how many people could see each table? Well, uh, either six or eight, and the, the total capacity is only 48. So it's oh. a, a very snug evening. Okay. And, and then, what about the music? Well, uh, the music is, uh, part of it is tracks mm -hmm. uh, that are actual reproductions of uh, Frank? original arrangements uh, done for Frank Sinatra, Nelson Riddle, yeah. some of those other, or Tommy Dorsey, some of those band leaders. Yeah. And there's a company out of England that I found um, that does reproductions of these tracks so that it's the original instrumentation. If you hear, if you're used to hearing a saxophone do a you're little riff in one area, it's a saxophone doing and, that. Riff. And a lot of people who are Frank, Frank Sinatra fans know each one of his tunes by heart, right. and they know where that music is supposed right. to be. I want to tell you a little secret. I do um, uh, a little Sinatra every month for an Alzheimer's unit that's here in, in Columbia, the Arbors. Mm -hmm. And uh, I do that because my mom died from Alzheimer's. And uh, so I just enjoy going over and singing for them. They lip the words to every song I sing. In the Alzheimer's unit. In the Alzheimer's unit. They know every word to every song. Of Frank Sinatra. Because that's what they were, that's what they grew up with. Yeah. And that's where their memory is a lot of times locked into is, is uh, uh, things from their, their youth and their young adulthood. So That's got to bring tears to your eyes. It is you fascinating. That. It is fascinating. They get up and dance and it is, uh, and they talk about me apparently for days after I'm gone. So, which is unusual. That's a beautiful story. Yeah, it's, it's it's just a it's a lovely tribute to my to my mom and I just uh, really enjoy doing it. And you that. do that every, every I do month? it every month, yeah. That's very nice. Oh, thank that you. That is very, very nice. <laughs> that uh, if if you want to see Ed, who's a nice guy, uh, <laughs> this Sometimes. coming Saturday singing forty Sinatra tunes yeah. almost nonstop. Yeah. Um, what time does the show start? Well, the show starts at uh, around 6.30, and uh, I do want to give a mention to uh, our partnering uh, restaurant, Blue, up on, up on uh, Walnut Street. Uh, they are catering in a three-course meal. Mm -hmm. So the way this works is I sing a little bit, and then the tables are dismissed to go through the buffet line, and they get their salad. And oh, they're dismissed. And then, they, and then they, they're dismissed. <laughs> The okay. former teacher and me coming out again, <laughs> and then and then uh, they uh, listen to more music while they eat their salad, and then when it's time for the entree, they're we take another little again. break. So I take a little break each time so that they can go and get their food, and that gives me a chance to sort of get my get my second wind and my third wind and so yeah. forth. And then are they dismissed for dessert too? They are. Okay, so <laughs> it starts at six thirty and uh, runs until. Oh gosh! Until I'm done with song number forty, I guess. No, I think I think we'll be running about two hours. Okay, so six thirty to eight thirty. Uh, if you're concerned about uh, 
getting home too late, you should be done by about 8.30, quarter Right, and, and something kind of nice about working with Blue is that they um, will work with dietary restrictions. So if people make a reservation with me, but they are either vegetarian or they can't have gluten or something like that, they tell me that, and I tell Blue, and they fix a special uh, entree just for them. Okay, all right, you got it. So really mark nice it on thing. your calendar. If you if you want reservations, you got to do it real real soon now because it's just coming Saturday. Right, and there's only seats for 48, so okay. I mean it, it, it goes quickly. All right, now tell me about some of the other productions you have coming up this Alrighty. year. All righty, well, we've got um, a full season of shows uh, starting in February mm -hmm. at the theater. Uh, Circle Mirror Transformation is a comedy set in Vermont about um, some people who are enrolled in a community drama class. Okay. Uh, very, very fun. Next to Normal is our uh, big musical that we've got in April. Uh, it deals with uh, the main character, the mom, who is uh, suffering from bipolar disorder. Mm -hmm. uh, it won the Pulitzer Prize for writing in 2010 and swept most of the Tonys and in you're 2009. And you're doing it in April. We're doing that in April. Then you got Mostly Sweet. Mostly Sweet, which is an original comedy by a local playwright, Meg Phillips Crespi. Uh, it debuted uh, a couple of years ago as a sort of a concert reading during a Comedies in Concert mm -hmm. uh, during Summer Rep, and uh, this will be a full-staged version of it. Okay. First time. Uh, very fun show. Steeple People, brand new musical to Missouri. Uh, it actually was just written. I drove to Indiana. Do you remember my Indiana yes, saga? I, I got up at I 3 do. in the morning to be back on a show. <laughs> so you drove to Indiana to see this, and it's to coming to Steeple Columbia. People, and I liked it so much, we're, we're putting it in. That'll be in August. Reasons to be Pretty, a very dark comedy. I would really call it a drama, but people call it a dark comedy. Uh, by Neil LeBute in October, and then a fantastic new comedy by uh, Gina Gianfrido uh, called Rapture, Blister, Burn. Uh, that'll be a, a Missouri debut also. Okay. And that'll be in December. You got it. So for more information on Talking Horse Productions, which was named, we found out today, <laughs> named after the Talking Horse <laughs> television show. So Ed, Ed. We are, we are nothing but class at Talking Wait a Horse. Let me tell Wasn't you. it Ed the Talking Horse? Mr. Ed. Mr. Ed, that's right. And who? <laughs> And, the, his and Alan owner. Young played Wilbur Post. Okay. You got it. Wilbur. <laughs> okay, so a little bit of history there. What's the telephone number for more information? 573-268-1381 and find us on the web or on Facebook. Okay, you got it. Our program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds <laughs> Journalism Institute, Audio Pat Akers, KBIA. Our floor director is Lowell Thomas and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. Something you'd like to hear or see, drop me an email, pepperp.missouri.edu.